hello guys what's up my name is rajat welcome back to our channel world of vfx so in this video we're trying to recreate this amazing desert scene inside of unreal engine and trust me this will be a lot of fun so stick to this video do not skip any part let's get started all right so currently as you can see this is the scene and first of all i'm just going to file and new level and i'm just simply click basic and create so right now we have a complete blank space then go to perspective and go to default viewport from cinematic now we have a bigger large viewport all right so first of all as you can see we have some floor over here which is this so don't need this so completely delete this so we have this with a grid okay so first thing first you need to create a landscape so go to selection mode and go to landscape and like this and now before doing anything go to edit first and go to plugins and you need to enable one plugin called land mass so make sure you just need to check this on and restart your Unreal engine and right after that go to landscape mode like this and find out this option called sections per comp and then make it to two by two sections and go to here from 127 quads and that's it and after that simply press create so we have created this ground successfully now we can see this is called layer one so just rename it to like main and after that go to blueprints so whenever you enable that plugins you can simply go to this blueprint brush and you can find this option called custom brush landmass river and materials only and i'm selecting this custom brush material only from here and if you just click you can find out the ground will popped up like this only but right now it's only on few areas so before doing anything i'm just increasing the camera speed so suppose around eight so that i can move very faster now we need to apply a material but before applying material i need to fix this part so just simply select this landscape custom brush material and over there you can find this called brush material okay and you can simply click over here and you can simply type noi ac noise and you can find three type of noise one is called gen noise 01 gen noise 02 and gen noise 02 verona so you just need this one first and right now you can see anything i'll just apply the material first so then we can go forward so before applying material you just do need to turn on this material instance so that we can only visible the materials here so these are the materials we have but i already downloaded on material from quixel mega scan which is this this is called dry sand if you want to apply simply select this landscape and simply go down you can find out this option called landscape material you can simply drag and drop it like this after that you can simply check the material is applied successfully also you can check this material as well both the materials are completely different and it will work on different different scenarios now if you want to change some settings from materials if you find this material is pretty bigger simply double click over here and it will open it like this and make sure your tiling should be 0.01 by 0 0.01 and save it and close this that's it right now you have this material applied successfully now let's go to this landscape custom brush material once again and go up where you can find this called tiling which is 0 0.25 simply increase it to 11 and now you can see it's something bit changed over here also elevation scale make it to 5000 and you can see the ground will popped up like this and make sure the octaves make it to one now if you feel your bumps are very less you can simply increase the bumps with the help of this tiling let's increase it to 30 so now you can see the bumps are really increased also you can use this elevation scale so let's make it to 6000 so that your elevation scales are also but increased as well all right our ground is ready now we need to change the lighting first so just first of all i'm going to selection mode and now pressing ctrl and l you can simply change the lighting from any direction now before doing anything i need to change some more settings on the environmental light setup so first of all go to this environmental height and fog go down you can change this option called volumetric fog simply check this on also go to skylight go up and you can find this real time capture should be on also all the lights are should be moving so that you can move it in anywhere now go to exponential hide and fog and now you can see this location simply reset this location now you can find out it's more foggy now if you just want to increase the fogs too much you can simply find out this option just simply push it in z-axis in top and you can see 
the fox are getting increasing now i need to add one character so that i can understand the scale of our ground so doing this you can simply check off this material instance now you can find out this option called third person simply click go to blueprint you can find out this character over here now select this landscape over here and go to windows and you need to check on this windows settings option when you enable this you can find out this option called windows settings simply click here and you can find out this option called game mode override simply click here and you can find out it's called bp third party game mode whenever you just select this you are done now pressing alt and p on your keyboard you can simply add any character on your scene you can simply play with this character and you can work with anywhere now press escape so we have created this scene now to enable one camera you can simply go here and click add new level sequence and make it like rename and then simply press save after that take a new camera over here and you can simply change the camera settings so here i'm just doing a basic camera settings which is first of all need to change it to dslr and make it to 35 millimeter or 30 millimeter also you can change the lens settings from here i want a bit of wider angle lens so i want a bit cinematic style so i'm just open this film back and where you can find sensor width so simply increase it to somewhere around 40 or make it to 55 so that you can find out this you know cinematic style of camera angle and then set your camera angle somewhere here and just after that increasing your focal distance and make sure the current aperture should be 1.4 and just simply decrease the focus distance somewhere you prefer and that's it you are actually done right after that you can simply check this key buttons and after that select keyframes and go next last frame and simply move the camera forward automatic keyframe will add it and yes you are done your camera animation is successfully happened now guys you have to play with the settings and all you have to play more to create this type of amazing landscape and that's it for today if you find out this video helpful definitely subscribe to our channel world of vfx for more updates definitely follow us bye bye